we had looked in East Grand Fork several times, and to be honest with you, I drove by and I never noticed them all. You know, and I guess I wouldn't be considering usually at the high rate that Mall is charged as that a location for me to go into. But the deal they made us was phenomenal. And like I always said in the past, uh, this is a match made in heaven. I mean, this just couldn't have been a better fit for a theater if you had planned it. And uh, the restaurants here, the large parking, the, the, the I guess the beauty of what East Grand Forks is in their downtown area, um, and it's not like the mall may have been troubled, but it's far from run down. Mm -hmm. You know, it just nobody took advantage of it. And my opinion has always been that if you offer a two to three times what your competitor offers and then give a better price, who wouldn't go there? You know, I mean, and that's been our philosophy in every theater we've opened. And, um, we try to look and see what the market is. We try to do it our absolute best is what we can afford to put in and, and make it superior to what's there. And then, and state of the art. Uh, I mean, I think we've got everything in here that theaters are doing across the nation. I mean, we're, we're just in the process now of putting in some digital projection as well. Um, so we like to stay on top of it, you know, and, that, and that's what I think makes it work. As far as people coming, I, you know, I've seen theaters on the back streets of every small town USA, and people will seek them out and find them. I mean, I'm sure you've done it yourself. If you go into a town and you say, is there anything to do? And they say, well, the theater is over there behind uh, Jake's hardware store. I mean, you'll go find it, you know. So if you got something they want, and I don't care if it's a restaurant or, or what it is, um, people will seek it out. Anybody that goes out to the movie usually goes out for something. I don't care if it's an ice cream cone or a, or a steak dinner before or after. You know what I'm saying? They, I don't care if it's a trip to Burger King or, or where it is. Someone goes out and usually you do dinner and a movie. I mean, that's, that's your night out. And it's still the most economical thing to do in the United States. I mean, regardless of where the pricing is compared to any other sporting event or any other major attraction for plays or operas or, or concerts or anything coming to town, no matter what it is for entertainment, you're still going to find that going to a movie and dinner is still the cheapest alternative for you. Our projections would work if you, if you think of a theater with 12 screens. Um, we thought we would need 600 people a day to to make a really decent income and pay back everything we're borrowing. Okay. Um, in reality, what that really meant, and what I said, being conservative, is running that many shows a day, it means that if we only had 10 people in every show for the day long, we would have our 600 people. Well, in reality, we're running double to three times that. I mean, there's where we'll run uh, my daughter's had up to 2,500 people a day in already, you know, so I mean, it's, you know, and that was an average, but our average right now is probably running about 14, 1,500 people a day versus the 600, you know, so it's, it's been phenomenal. You know, I think East Grand Forks is really in tune to um, the free enterprise, uh, the mom and pop type businesses that, that thrive, but, you know. If you take our diamond store here, I mean, you know, she does such a great job with that, you know, and as all of these merchants do, you know, I mean, but they're but they're hands on, you know, what I mean, the owners are involved with them, and I think that that personal touch is something that any small community that I've noticed in the other small towns we're in, um, I mean, what do you as a small community have to offer, in my opinion, other than excellent service? You know, I mean, that's all we really have left. Price points can be beat by box stores just about anywhere you go, you know. But people are willing to pay more for a piece of furniture if the owner is very knowledgeable of how the furniture is made and where it came from. And this will seat you well, but that won't, you know. So I think there's a need for any of those businesses. The, the, the constant stream back and forth across the river, I think, is phenomenal. I mean, if you watch there any time of day, I think, and watch that bridge, you know, in evening time, it's, it's very strong, you know. But, again, that complementary to what we're doing, you know, and I mean, even if you're at some of the, the local bars and stuff across the street, you know, you're 
across the river, you're, you're, you're still coming back and forth to, to take in a show or come over and have something to eat and then go back and do whatever you were doing, you know. So, And you get to jump around a little bit. So if the crowd's not in one place, it's in another. But, but the key is there's a crowd, you know, and I think that's what makes it all work.